Tonight, President Obama is taking a strong stand against the militant group ISIS. His statements today follow the beheadings of two American journalists at the hands of ISIS. As Fox News reporter Leland Vittard shows us, the president is now calling for a global alliance to go after the militants. If they think the American people will be intimidated, they don't know us very well. We will not be intimidated. Both the president and vice president on Wednesday issued warnings to the extremist group that took responsibility for beheading two American journalists. Our objective is clear, and that is to degrade and destroy ISIL so that it's no longer a threat, not just to Iraq, but also to the region and to the United States. The Islamic State released a video that showed a militant beheading a second American journalist, Stephen Sotloff. The execution is putting more pressure on the president to step up efforts to contain ISIS. President Obama is sending 350 more troops to Iraq and says that regional cooperation, airstrikes and ground efforts will defeat the terrorist group. We have to stop ISIS, not stop them, but we have to defeat them. Both Democratic and Republican lawmakers consider the Islamic State a danger to the United States. Many lawmakers are calling for expanded military action particularly airstrikes in Syria, where ISIS is based. We are uh, at war uh, with ISIS, and we ought to treat it as such and take more uh, decisive action. For the first time, we're hearing from an Arab state about the threat of ISIS. Today, the ambassador from the United Arab Emirates issued a bold statement about needing to face ISIS on its own battlefield. In Washington, Leland Vittert, Fox News.